Okay, so I promise no more crying, no more sadness. Um, but I would just like to say thank you very much for a lot of people's support from the last video. Um, it was a very difficult one to do and it was without doubt just quite a tricky month to be honest of very uh, mixed emotions for a while however you know it's gone we've made the decision and moved on and we all believe the right decision by the horse so however you know you as a sports person can feel you know, of just thinking so close, so far, the emotions we go through. This is my video, my diary, something that I've I've wanted to do this year to just be able to show people or, you know, help people or have an insight of, of our world. And, um, you know, there are times that are, that are hard, but, you know, our horses is in great form and we do believe we've done exactly the right thing by him so i'm just very glad that we got the support and can now move on to go and watch watch the olympics with as much excitement as possible because we can't wait for it to get going now and and cheer everyone on and and actually watch some sport and try and think life life can get back to some sort of normality it's been such a massive training journey for so many people um trying to get there and it will just be fabulous to watch it and us cheer everyone on so um good luck everyone and can't wait for it to start um but thank you for our support and we look forward to cracking on for the rest of the year um anyway i was just going to get back to sharing with you since i've been back you know obviously our our competition plans have now changed um we were thinking sort of it was a month of not you know competing over here and because that's changed you know we've had to run through with owners and everything of of now having a bit more of a summer campaign rather than just an autumn one and so we've been getting um, fitter again most things have been ticking over but but a bit lighter and so it's bringing them all back up to you know just start getting back to the events again and having probably a slightly different aim and um, we've been quite used to this I have to say for the last couple of years with Covid and things on and off and all the rest of it so it doesn't really feel too much different but I just wanted to show a little exercise that I've sort of done this week um, I don't have the first part of it on camera, but we just put a very basic grid up with three bounces, one stride to a vertical, one stride to an oxa, just on a, a normal distance. Um, we then sort of brought some V-poles in for the vertical or the oxa. It's, it's just been getting horses back into it, not just course jumping, getting jumping muscles going. You can Grids are very good to get the horses back, thinking for themselves, us thinking of our balance and all that sort of thing. Um, and so we did that at the beginning of the week and then later then today, I've basically, because the, the grid's been left up and I was on my own without anyone for doing rails for me, which we can all be in the same boat sometimes. Um, the grid was left up from a young horse doing it and I just played even with some of my older ones. And I think there's some video of Brookfield Innocent. Now, today, just ticking away, just, figure of eating, angling, um, you can hear Ames singing away maybe in the background, um, bless her, um, figure of eating around the grid, um, leaving all the jumps as it, as it is, and just working on straightness, angling the fences. It's a great exercise as well for Brookfield Innocent who can be spooky and quite distracted about what is what is around him. So whether there's poles on the ground or other wings slightly in the way. Um, it is great for me to be turning quickly, thinking of the, your next fence, putting your head up, getting my weight in the heels when you, when you finish. He's a horse that jumps and he, he loves to just have his neck and go a little bit on his forehand. So there's always little things that I'm doing to to just train him and help with the balance. And, and I did it with all horses of all ages today. Just exactly the same thing, leaving the jumps at the same height. You can turn up to it sharper. 
or give them plenty of space. Um, but the thing that was important to me was keeping a line that I wanted to be on without letting the horse lose the shoulder, stay with me, balance, stride, that sort of thing. So just a very basic exercise that we can all relate to. Everyone can sort of do at home. It's just a bit of fun. It's a little bit different. Um, but he's on, he's on great form. I always find when I do this exercise and I find when I jump him for a horse of his experience, um, I find him a lot, you know, easier on the flat to get him to, to with his changes of changing direction, be in a much better balance. I've always found it when I've jumped him, even in the ring or galloping, because he's a real galloper, but he actually just gets a little bit on his forehand. He will always sort of do a late change in that situation. So it was interesting today just playing with that sort of thing or now starting to think with his jumping of trying to get, you know, when I'm doing small little things of playing to get his balance to come back and try and get true changes, which when he's jumping, it's more naturally for him. He just is always late behind, but is, is changes his leg very easily. So it's just something as a rider I'm aware of. Um, it's very different riding him on the flat as it is to jump. But again, I'm just sharing my views, my experiences of all different, different horses. Um, and then I went out onto the cross country field and just had a play. We have our own little jumps. It's not something I do with this horse masses, um, but he's really fit. He's been brought up. He's ready to go somewhere and do something. He feels on great form, um, but it's just now keeping him tickling along and happy. Um, I can't leave him too fresh. He goes to Bergen in a couple of weeks time. So it's just nice for him to have a jolly um, of which he was very well behaved um, and quite relaxed. I put him in a Pelham, which normally doing the exercise at home in the school, I would just ride him as if I was on the flat in the, in the snaffle. But he can be spooky, he can be a little bit leery running around on the field. And we had good thunderstorms last night, so I thought the ground might have just been a little bit slippy in places. And so um, I put a little bit more in him just to stop him running around if he was going to get a little bit leery. Um, but he was great, very calm, very on it and had a nice little play. But I just thought it's nice to see him in action. He looks, he looks fab. He feels in good form. And we look forward to a, an autumn com campaign, which is hopefully, you know, we'd all love to go to the European Ch Championships if that happens. Um, and just get going and enjoy the autumn and enjoy a fabulous horse. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Good luck, everybody at the Olympics. We are all rooting for you. Can't wait to watch it and hear all about it when you get back. Good luck, everyone. Take care. Come home safe. Bye bye.